Hi, my name is Bethany. I'm a singer educator. And in today's video, I'm going to be featuring the Singer Quantum Stylus 9960 sewing machine. But this video is not just about that specific machine. So if you just got a machine for the holidays, maybe it was your very first machine. This video is really geared towards you, whether it's the Quantum Stylus 9960 or one of our other wonderful Singer machines. Some of the tips that I'm going to give in this video are the best practices for getting started and getting to know your machine. The whole point of this video is to make sure that you feel confident getting started. We want to make sure that you know the proper ways to use the hand wheel. Did you know that it's supposed to turn towards you and not away from you? Yeah. Those little things can really add up with adding to the longevity and care of your machine. So this video is going to go over what that's going to look like and how it can apply to your machine. And any other questions you might have, I highly recommend going to our playlist, looking for the machine that you have and diving in a little deeper with the getting started videos specific to your machine. All right, so let's take a little journey. We're going to go on this journey with the Quantum Stylus 9960. We're going to go over some of these key features, maybe even some of my favorite features. And uh, we'll come back here and reconvene and see what we've learned. The first thing you need to do is plug in the foot control and the power cord and turn your machine on. Give it a second to boot up. Now the next thing I want to show you is how to thread your machine, specifically the bobbin. A lot of people get confused on this part as a beginner. So see how the bobbin, I'm holding it up and the thread tail is coming off to the left and it makes the letter P. Then I'm going to place that down into my bobbin and make sure the thread goes through the tension. Now I'm ready to bring that bobbin thread to the top. And in order to do that, I want to turn the hand wheel towards me to bring the needle down and back up to catch that bobbin thread before I put my cover back on. The key is always turning that hand wheel towards you and not away from you. Attaching a presser foot to a Singer machine is very simple. You just want to place it underneath the ankle, lower the foot ankle, and it'll snap right on. Some of my favorite features to call out on a computerized machine is the speed control, the scissor snips that cut your threads, and the needle up down button as well. If you remove the arm of the machine here, you'll see a little switch. And this is what lowers the feed dogs or the feed teeth that you see right here. So if we slide this over so the triangles are below the line, now you can see the feed dogs are underneath. You want to use this feature when you're sewing on a button using the button foot and for other reasons like tacking things. But when we slide that bar back over, did you notice that the feet did not come back up? You have to turn the hand wheel towards you one full stitch rotation to get the feet back up. This is a little trick that a lot of people do not realize and get so confused by. One of my favorite accessories for my sewing machine, whether it's a computerized or mechanical machine, is an extension table. This slides right in place where that arm was that we removed, and I have such a bigger sewing space, great for quilting and larger projects, and it has a beautiful ruler across the front to make sure I'm always staying in line. The best part is these feet are easily adjustable. The last thing I want to share with you is how to properly remove your thread from the machine. So instead of grabbing the spool and pulling the thread out backwards, we actually want to leave the spool where it is. We want to use our scissors to snip the thread up by the spool. And then we're going to pull this thread out where the needle is through the machine like it's intended to go. Well, there you have it. I feel like we've covered a lot of the basics. Maybe there was something in there that you didn't know, and it'll help you be more successful in your sewing journey. Again, if you have any questions or specifics about your machine or want to learn more about the feet that come with your machine, our YouTube channel is a great place to find those resources, so be sure to check it out. And we are posting new content every month, so be sure to come back and see us soon. Until then, happy sewing.